Hello everyone, welcome back to our staycation review. So in this little staycation review, I'll be documenting my stay over here in Naomi Hotel. We saw like this cheap five star hotel over here in like Boogies on Sia Street. So let's see how it goes. All right, so this is a habitat room over here in Naomi Hotel. So let me just show you guys around. So over on the right, there's a very big uh, mirror, but here on the left is the bath room portion. So there's like an open uh, wardrobe sort of concept. You see bath robes, you no, know, I think a place for a backrest. A uh, wing skirt at the bottom, as well as the uh, in-room slippers, laundry bags, and curiously a uh, toilet roll. So here in the habitat room, we have this sort of transparent uh, door concept. So he this will be a toilet section. So there's a modern looking, you know, a concept system, but I would prefer a bidet. You know, I think a bidet is lacking. Over here on the right, uh, the room doesn't come with a bathtub. You know, there will be the higher grade Oasis room, which I have no money for. But over here, you get a rain shower, you know, hand up shower head. The rain shower and the tank up shower here are very here, so the water pressure and things should be cool. Um, toiletries comes in a form of sort of these like big bottle, uh, toiletries or by which are by no means themselves, so it's not like a branded thing. So just see if it's any good, I'll probably comment on that in my return review. The curious thing about it is that the bathroom features what they call the magic glass. So if you turn on the switch, there you go. So for more privacy, you know, you can have the entire thing, you know, uh, opaque. I think it's pretty, a pretty cool technological touch, I would say, that I think sets, just a little gimmick, I think, uh, makes the hotel stay a bit more interesting. But it's practical as well, you know, like I say about privacy and stuff. So here, you see, it will be the amen uh, amenities rack, you know, you get wine glasses, uh, you know, usual cups, your kettle. We have an espresso machine here, very nice. And so, we have some capsules. Now, capsules are not the usual ones, they're the one by Hook Coffee, which is sort of like a local uh, coffee label so pretty nice local touch you guys know I love everything local you get amenities as, like nice little snacks as well like black truffle chips you know camel snacks tea by T2 which I think they have outlet in Suntec City if I'm not wrong pretty good tea all things considered wide opener as well yeah you get even very nice on the like, espresso cups and you know, regular tea cups so I like the little touch there over here we have the sink now the sink is actually pretty nice though, I think a pretty nice of lighted uh, countertop Sort of an atas looking de design You know, you get body lotion, um, body bar Yeah, and the fridge is below So we have a small mini fridge And according to the staff uh, Everything inside you know, is complimentary So you don't worry about it being charged in your room Which again, is a nice touch if you're wondering about the toiletries, I have toothpaste, toothbrush, and whatever, they're all here. So yeah, very nicely packaged, individually packaged. The sort of design of the packaging reminds me a bit of Lloyd's Inn, but I would say that initial impressions here are so far better. So now I'll move on to the main bedroom. So over the habitat room, I believe is 26 square feet. So it's not big, but not small, so I think pretty cozy. Over here on the left, we have a little workstation, if you can call it that, you can definitely do work here. But I think a little surprise for the hotel sort of prepared three bottles of wine for us. So you have a bottle of red wine and two bottles of Bottega Prosecco. And again, you can see the little top that comes. So here you have, you know, your sparkling wine glasses, fluted glasses here, your regular red wine glasses. So a little touch that shows attention to details. Over here, you get an analog phone, a bedside lamp, a notepad, you know. The in-house restaurant is called Florence. So if you want to order anything, you can order it. In-room service, I presume. But I think the price are a bit expensive. Here you have earplugs as well. Here is the king size bed. So I have not tried it yet, but you know, uh, it looks pretty nice, pretty comfy. I don't think they have a pillow menu, however, but from what I've tried, you know, the pillows are nice and fluffy. And there's even a bolster as well, which I've not actually seen in a hotel. So again, very nice uh, touch and attention to details. Here you have a large, I believe, sort of like 42 inch uh, Samsung TV. So you get a Blu-ray player, an Apple TV, so you can you know airplay things and watch Netflix and things like that. Uh, according to them, you want to turn this thing on, so you can see sort of the channels they have, the Apple the Apple TV remote, the Blu-ray player remote, as well as a general TV remote. I'll show you guys a bit of the view. So there's not much of a view. You can see a bit of sort of like the balcony below, but there's not much of a view. I'll say, but it's not the best I've seen, not the worst I've seen either. But definitely, this is not a place to come if you are here for the view. And over here, you know, I think again, uh, bottled water. 
one liter worth of bottled water. I like that it's in a glass bottle, so a nice uh, sustainable touch. And over here by the bed, you know, you get bedside pods, you know, these are actually for the blinds. So if you want a bit more privacy, you can just lower the blinds and various sort of light controls. So yeah, overall I say it's a pretty nice room for the price. Now I'll show you guys a bit of the amenities that they have here. I think which I think is a gym as well as a pool. So even though this is a rather small, I think it's about 32 or 34 rooms worth only. Hotel, you know, they do have a gym, a pool, even a pool set bar. So I'll see you guys there. Now this is the cardio section of the gym over here in uh, Normie Hotel. Now what's Normie Hotel is a smaller boutique hotel. The gym is actually split across two levels. So here you have like the more cardio equipment. You have the stationary bike, the treadmill and things like that. You, know, you also do get sort of like uh, water as well. Whereas, you know, there's a smaller, I think, free weights uh, component uh, below. So I'll show you guys that next. Okay, so over here uh, is the weight section. So you can see like a few free weights there, you know, a couple of benches, a machine, and another sort of bench press machine here. And again, free water there. So this is the weight section of the two sort of two-part gym. I think it's quite curious. I've never seen a gym, uh, you know, split across two levels, but well, I guess when you have a space constraint, you gotta be creating the solutions. But yeah, it's a bit small, but I guess uh, if you want to do some quick workout, it will still function well. Alright, so I'm over here at the rooftop pool, which is sort of like an infinity pool concept for here at Normie Hotel. So as you guys can see, you know, it's a pretty great view, especially at the timing I'm at here, which is about sunset. Curiously, you can see GW Marriott over there, and Raffles Hotel is, you know, just right opposite. But yeah, I think it's a it's a pretty small pool, you know. If you're looking to do laps or anything, uh, or looking to exercise, this probably isn't it. This is probably more of like an Instagram pool, but it's still, you know, like I said, because of the infinity concept and of course of the view of the city landscape. You can see the Esplanade, you can see, you know, Raffles Hotel, JW Marriott, you know, uh, Carlton is just nearby as well. It's a pretty nice view, especially at, uh, where you can see the sunset. But yeah, pretty nice. Okay, so I just checked out Naomi Hotel. I think overall, you know, I think it was a pretty decent experience. I think you can get one of these entry level rooms, like the habitat room that we were in, for about $200. So it's on the higher side for like the boutique hotel space, but it does, you know, sort of market itself as a luxury hotel, so that's that. And I think for $200, uh, the room was decent. You know, it was, it's a bit small. I mean, given for the price, I mean, there, there wasn't a bathtub. But at least it had some neat tricks, like for example, the magic class, I thought was pretty cool. The entire decor was pretty cool. Um, the beds and everything are all quite comfortable. I really like the connectivity of TV as well. You, know, you have an Apple AirPlay, you have Samsung connectivity, Android TV. Uh, I have no issues like sort of mirroring my Netflix and what Netflix and chilling, so to say. So yeah, you know, overall I think it was a it was a pretty decent experience. Will I return? I'm not sure if it was compelling enough in terms of the amenities of the room and the amenities of the hotel. The rooftop pool was pretty nice. I think that's what most people. Uh, sort of go to normal hotel for but it is pretty small I think you know I went inside there 10 15 minutes so a few photos came out so it's one of those more like Instagramable things right that's something that you actually experience and enjoy at least in my opinion but yeah I know I don't again it's one of those that staycation where I don't regret going once to try out but I'm not sure you know if it's compelling enough to return if I do return though I'll probably book like it's Oasis room or something one of those with his free standing bathtub although there'll be slightly more about 300 plus orders range but yeah, if you want you know, like a boutique luxury hotel experience, you know, something, you know, that's not one of those mainstream big corporate uh, hotels, I guess you can give Nomi Hotel a try. The location is quite good as well. Alright, and that rounds up like this of little staycation review. If you like the video, do give a thumbs up to subscribe as always. I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao!